and you all know that I've worked, you know, with the staff on this budget step by step, and I wholeheartedly stand by it, understanding that this staff is going to come back to this board as you know the, the nature and the shifts change in the dynamic of our system. I'm in full support, and I believe we have board support to move this budget in the next two weeks. I didn't want to speak about um, police accountability today. Um, because I think that we, we need to take some time um, as, a, as a board and as an agency to discuss our vision forward. Um, we, for the last 10 years, since the murder of Oscar Grant, have worked so hard um, to be the first police department in the country to, to mandate body cameras, to have unrelenting training while we still have a ways to go, um, to concede where we fall, um, to uh, recognize the inherent racism in law enforcement um, as a whole. So when I hear the dog whistles that are consistent with the political agenda that uplifts structural racism, that black men and women who succumb to unlawful use of force by law enforcement were to blame, it is unconscionable and it is racist. I, I completely disavow the comments that were made earlier, um, and, I, and I appreciate board members standing clear and tall against a rhetoric that is particularly unfounded in this moment and beyond, and it is ahistorical. I will continue to work weekly and almost daily with our chief who I believe in, who like many, deeply understand that absolutely moving forward in this country, law enforcement and the way that we think about safety, how we keep ourselves safe, we have to transform some of those ideas. We have a long way to go and there's a swift and meaningful opportunity to get there. My commitment as president of this board was going to and will remain to work with our law enforcement leadership, our general manager, our community, and this board to see a way forward. Because see, the murder of George Floyd wasn't the first time or the last time that Black Americans experience the horror of leaders who won't recognize what is so inherent in our daily experience. I decided to come on this board for many reasons, but truly, deeply, um, the comments that were made earlier, um, we gotta do better and we will do better. And um, I don't want an apology. Um, I want us to commit to anti-racist ideas. I want us to have an institution that lives um, by the very values that, that, that BART proclaims. Um, and, and I understand that the, 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 the deep disease um, that is racism and structural racism is one that unfortunately is consistently left on uh, people with black skin to fight. Um, but it's going to require a longer way. I support our budget. I support what we want to do in terms of a new future um, of thinking about how we keep ourselves safe. Um, but you will not in, uh, in this meeting, as long as I'm president, blame the dead for the lack of responsibility of many law enforcement leaders for getting it right. I yield my time. With that, uh